Okay, playing it a little bit safer today. Not putting the phone directly in the sunlight. See that right out here? Ooh, it's in the sunlight, phone's gonna burn up. Let's try this, Just a little side view. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So yesterday was really fun. I was really looking forward to coming in today because yesterday I got to babysit some fourth graders. And during that time, you know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna talk to them, see what they're up to. There's a, how many were there? five or so in the class and the teacher said Mr. Luke, Mr. Campbell is going to be sharing a story and so now I'm on stage in front of five fourth graders being asked to share a story and the only thing I can think of is what they were requesting because I, mean, I can tell them a story ho oh, oh. ho hey kids sit down get ready but that's not exactly school appropriate and I have no idea what they're learning I mean do they have any questions or anything and one of them's like show us some math okay <laughs> I can do that and they were they were really fascinated by something I'd been talking about earlier and that's why they brought up math in the first place so I drew a triangle, a right triangle, and I drew a circle on top of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And I said, how can we examine a ball rolling down a ramp? You know, something along those lines. Uh, if I put a ball on the ramp here, what do you think would happen? You know, and I was just asking them questions, going with like physics 101 stuff. And it was the best ever. It was so wonderful. The kids loved it they were like huh well the ball would roll down i'm like down so through the ramp it would go just straight down through the ramp they're like no no no, it rolled down the ramp oh okay okay gotcha and it was it, it's one of those things where you you don't learn these things until high school or or maybe um university like i said physics 101 but everyone understands these concepts everyone can learn them the fourth graders were adorable because they were like, oh, it's not like the kindergartners could learn this stuff. I'm like, <laughs> yes, of course it's not. Yeah, pff, you're so superior. Uh, it was fun because at first I couldn't remember how uh, the, the kinematic equations worked. I couldn't remember like if, if we're uh, looking for the amount of time it takes for the ball to roll to the ground, what kind of givens do we need in the problem or, or how far does it roll to reach the ground in a certain amount of time and whatnot. And then I couldn't remember the exact form or one of the kinematic equations. So I just, I just re-derived it for the kids in front of them. And one of them was a total troll and she was very funny. She was like, this is why you're not a teacher. <laughs> oh, sick burn fourth grader. Got me good. I went home and cried later that night. Uh, but I, I just agree. I was like, yeah, exactly. Let's open up. Got to get some airflow. Woo! So um, the way I went about that in order to re-derive these kinematic equations, I just did exactly that in front of them. And at first, totally flopped on it. I was like, F equals MA. We go from a definition of what acceleration is. We went through that with the kids. That was cute. Um... But uh, what I realized halfway through is like I, I was doing the derivation wrong. Like you're supposed to start with the definition of acceleration, okay? And you, you can do it multiple ways. I mean, math is wonderful that way. But you start with the definition of acceleration, and that's a change in velocity over a change in time. And then you can derive an equation that relates a final velocity to an initial velocity multiplied by... Um, or added to the the acceleration times time right it's it's simple enough and you can go from there another definition of velocity to get another equation you can add those two together to get a third equation all very useful kids loved it uh afterwards the whole point of the story was one of the kids was like where can i learn more about this they they just loved it they they were enthralled by the world of physics i, I ended everything on a thesis of i all this that we just covered in here, because the teacher came back, it was time to get back into lessons, and they all liked it. They all had a good time. I said, all this that you've learned here, it's just physics. That's all physics is, and you can all learn it. You can, and you can, and you can. And I pointed at all the kids and let them know, like, this was within their ability to learn. And so one of those kids asked afterwards, he's like, where can I learn more? A little fourth grader. Like, this math is so cool. He just loves math. And I told him straight up, I, I, I said, look up this person 
Feynman, and I spelled it for him, F-E-Y-N-M-A-N, and look up Feynman Lectures, and there are a dozen links that showed up. One, I think, was an audio source, a video, and, and the uh, PDF for the book shows up. And I said, that, you can listen to Feynman, and he will explain these concepts in a way that you'll be able to understand, that everyone can understand. And this kid's eyes lit up. He's like, oh, 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 I get to learn physics. I learn to find me. And <laughs> so I was so excited to come into work today just because of that, just passing on some enjoyment of the sciences, of mathematics to a younger generation. Oh, dear God, get some more air. And I saw that kid again today, and he was like, Ah, hey, what's up? Oh, it's good to see you, math man. And I was like, yeah, what's up, little boy? So that was, uh, it's good. Working in a school, if you have the chance to, your pay isn't going to be as high as elsewhere because it's education, okay? Deal with that however you will. But that, arguably, is the only negative. It's such a good environment. It is so positive, so overwhelmingly positive, especially in my case at an elementary school. I mean, the teachers, the people around you, they're all decent people. I mean, you, you can't have too much of a record if you're going to work with kids, right? So that they're, they're just decent people going about their lives. And the kids themselves are so positive. That it's so like, how do you describe that? The, the joys of children. <laughs> they're just like, oh, I tied my shoes today. Ah, victory. <laughs> it's it's great. So that was fun. Spread math to the next generation. And now, um, let's see. What else is going on today? Skies are blue. Things are still positive. Making another video. Got a little coffee here. Woke up. 5 a.m. Started the day with a uh, little side job helping out a tech company over in Silicon Valley. They are um, doing some kind of voice recognition work. So recorded some phrases for them. Got paid. That's nice. Went back to bed. <laughs> Slept for a good 45 minutes after that. I was tuckered out. Woke up at 5 on a mission. Woke up, launched this app, spoke into it. And then it was like the, the fatigue of the world landed on me. Needed to go back to bed. So I slept for that 45 and got in the car, rushed out over here to teach some more kids physics, which didn't happen. I just did server room things. And uh, yeah, here we are. Lunchtime. Boom. That is all I've got today. Um, I find that my mind is occupied with hobbies. Someone asked me today about... Uh, what was it? Tiger King? No. Yeah. Tiger King. I think it is. Anyway, this guy, he, he the, I told the person because they were surprised I'd never seen it. I was like, yeah, a guy kills people with tigers, right? <laughs> He's like, not even close. I was like, okay, cool. Whatever. I just don't care. And I know this is old news. I'm sure it was awesome. I'm sure the documentary, I, great stuff. I just don't watch Netflix or TV. It's not on my agenda. But I find my mind is occupied with other hobbies. Let's grab this and get out of the car. I feel like everything's going to overheat here in a minute. My mind is occupied with other hobbies. What up, parking lot? Whether it be reading or mobile games or all kinds of stuff. You know, it's like, what do you, what you do in your free time? It takes up the bandwidth that you've got for your brain. I woke up the other night and I was thinking about like some Reddit thread that I was reading the other day. And it, like, why is that on my mind? It's like whatever you fill your brain with, that's what you're gonna be occupied with. And so I've, I've been thinking about that a lot today. Like, what am I filling my brain with? <sighs> Math derivations, right? All right. That's all I got. I'm petering out. So you guys have a good day and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. September 2nd, baby. Here we go.